Okay, so I'm gonna do some seeding here using some clay pebbles, tap water, a bit of paper towel, seeds, and a couple of leftover takeout trays. So first thing I'm gonna do here is put a single layer of clay pebbles. Try to get them as even as possible. And cover all the spots on the bottom. And we're just going to go ahead and pour some water so they're all wet. some pieces and the point of these for me I find that I get a much better germination rate and I think it's because less of them less of the seeds fall into the bottom of the tray and I like doing it this way because I don't really want to use soil and make that sort of mess so I find that this is uh, the best way for me to take care of it. Okay, so I'm just going to dab out about eight here. Okay, so I've got some bok choy and some red leaf lettuce, pink heirloom lettuce. Uh, this one actually came free with another order, and they've worked pretty well for me, so um, I'll be making them again. And I like to use a little spoon here. Just do a few at a time. And I definitely get at least one, maybe two per piece of paper towel. Definitely one per. And these are some bok choy. These are a little easier to get out of here, but they roll, so let's be careful. And then I just gather some on top to block some light and give some space for these to grow through. Bit of a medium, but again, paper towels there so they won't sink. Okay, and there we have it. So this is completely seeded. I've got the red lettuce here. And the bok choy. There. And I'll just be taking these and covering them. And they'll stay covered for like two or three, maybe three or four days. I'll check them to make sure that they're still wet, um, but I put them down in the bottom of the grow tent here. And uh, once they get a little bit green showing, you know I'm checking them every day, um, I move them to light for about 12 hours, 12 and 12. Okay, next step here, I'm going to move some of these seedlings that I started two weeks ago uh, into these net pots that have a crushed up pool noodle in them. It's about as thick to get down to like this layer here. And they're in. And the stem will go in there. So 
when I'm pulling these out, I'm gonna do six of the Pak Choi first. Five, and six. Okay. So I'm gonna pull this up by the true leaf here and pop it on like so. I don't even worry about the paper towel here. It'll dissolve, it'll disintegrate. So that's one in here. Da -da 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 -da. Have the best ones I have. I don't need all of them, so I'll take the best ones that I have and pop them into these two and wrap it up. Last one in here. So now I've got a bunch of seedlings here, bok choy and lettuce. All right, next step, I'm gonna move these into rails or containers. So I'll go through that next. So in this next part, I will be filling up my rail with some of the nutrient solution I have here. I have this at about a 2.3, 2 point some odd EC. Um, I find for the bok choy, a little higher for the lettuce, a little lower, but still working it out. So fill this rail up. My bok choy here. those right into the rail. That's it.